I started actually working here um, on my thesis in uh, late 94. And um, what this area looked like was uh, essentially uh, lots of bare ground uh, with um, frequent wiregrass tussocks. So wiregrass, which is not a particularly desirable species, was certainly the dominant um, plant that was uh, in this particular area. To me, we've got to start to think about managing the land for what it is, how it is, and how, how you know, we can't change it. We try to change things, but Mother Nature comes back and bites you twice as hard. The question was, does changing the grazing management change the species diversity and the ground cover and, and what happens to the functioning of that landscape? Like so? The study was three years and um, came up with some pretty spectacular results. I was mostly surprised at the, the speed at which the land changed. Um, so I wasn't surprised once you start to manage land in tune with nature and, and manage it in tune with the natural cycles, then um, phenomenal things can happen. And all that lovely green leaf on, underneath there. Yep. Yes. Well, that's Mother Nature saying thank you very much. Yes, for thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.